Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your Grandpa KC. Hey, I have another product review today. I'm going to be talking about hard drive enclosures. I have the Sabbath USB 3.0 hard drive do flat docking station. As you can see, it opens easily. It's got a built-in cooling fan, on-off switch, and the connectivity is by USB cable right over here and a power supply. The cable is relatively good length, making it, you can just about on your desk be able to get to it quite easily. And your power supply cord right here is pretty good and pretty lengthy. So that makes this good because when the outlets are far away, you're going to have some, you might have some issues. So let's take a look at the unit itself and see what we think of it. Got hinges over here if you can see them and this is your docking station now your docking station you can slide and you can plug in either you can either plug in a laptop drive or a five and a quarter inch drive but not both they do make stations that they can plug both of them in at the same time and i have done a product review on that one check out my other product reviews now you to put this in you're just going to slide that in and push it in and lock it i'm not going to do that because i'm going to be using and testing this new this new unit with a drive that i just pulled from a system now here's some of the things that my first observations so let's look at this casings a little deeper as you can see i can plug in either drive into this but what i don't like it even though it has a cooling fan as you can see right here, it has these grooves in here. Preferably or easily to make it to slide in easier. But I want you to notice that the depth is very shallow. If you're going to cool something, you want to be able to have deeper grooves in here to allow better airflow. Now, your drive itself, as you can see, does have a cutout in here allowing for more airflow. But when this is closed, you want that you want to have deeper grooves in here to allow for better airflow better heat distribution that's an important the reason why you're buying one of these units when you're buying something that has a has a cooling fan built in it you want it to function and distribute the heat evenly mainly because of course you don't want this drive to f fail i mean what's the whole point of having a cooling fan if your airflow isn't that great it's like having a case with very few holes in it that doesn't allow the airflow to flow through the unit effectively. Let's just look at, I'm going to plug this in and see how it works. Now I have up on the screen the PC. All right, I'm going to turn on the system. Hard drive is booting, being discovered by the system. And it immediately detected the drive with no issue. That's this one right here. And I'm going to open it and see how well it does. And on top of that, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to just take, let's say, a, uh, a file. Two of them. And copy them onto another drive. And let's just see how it forms. I don't know if you can see this. They can't really. But it is copying the files. See the blue line copying. Unfortunately, trying to capture that window, but it's not showing up on the screen. The bottom line is here. Uh, it, I'm just I'm copying, a, copying a large file over. And as I'm doing it, it's moving at a pretty good rate of speed, considering this is a 5400 RPM drive. The other thing is, I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear the fan blowing. The fan is moving, and see. Yep, I can feel the air moving. So the other thing you want to be aware of is that because there is a fan blowing, if you're recording as I am right now, you may want to move this drive far away from your microphone as possible. So anyway, this, as you can see, this is the Sabbath USB Santa hard drive flat docking station. Copy rate and transfer rate is very, very, very good. 
in USB 3.0 and above. It is 2.0 compatible, but your data rate will be reduced in that way. Again, you can use either a full desktop drive or a laptop drive and you're interchangeable. Make sure you turn the power off when you are changing the drive. Like I said, this drive pretty, pretty fast in its data transfer. The bottom line is reviewing its features. It does have a built-in cooling fan. You can switch out from either a desktop drive or a laptop drive. So if you're data transferring, it does work well. It does come with a free copy of Acros for you to use if you're going to be cloning a drive. The other thing, of course, is that uh, as fast as you would expect for this type of drive, which is a 5400 RPM drive with 6 gigabytes per second, it's transferring at USB to 3.0. The external power supply makes it easy to use. The on-off switch allows you to turn it off when you're not using it. If you're going to be changing drives at any point in time, make sure that you close the drive out on your hard on your computer. By going to the arrow and say undock the station before you take the drive out, turn it off, and turn it on again. Now I'm going to leave you the link for this on Amazon. We're an Amazon affiliate. So please, if you're going to be checking out the drive or any other, other product listed in, helps us support the channel. Also, you can buy us a cup of coffee or become a channel member or give you a us a thank you. And we can continue producing more and more content like this. The other thing, of course, is that don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please share this. Other people may want to learn about this type of device. And last, of course, if your grandpa's still around with you, please give him a hug. He could appreciate it, just like grandpa appreciates a hug by you get by you putting your thoughts in the comments. So give grandpa a hug by either putting it in the comments or giving us thank you by buying us a cup of coffee. You have a great day. I'll be back with more product reviews, more tech talk in the near future. Have a great day.